Oh, I'm on. There we go. Oh, 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 I'm in school. Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's after it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here, and today we're going to be fishing with my personal favorite fall fishing bait. We're going to be fishing with the baby bull shad. Today's video is actually sponsored by Catchco. If you guys don't know, the baby bull shad is a cross between the Mike Buka bull shad, the big one, and then uh, Catchco came along and they designed the baby one, which we're gonna be throwing today. This is my all time favorite fall bait. It just works so good, and I've been catching so many fish on it. So I was like, why not bring it out today and show you guys what I do and how I fish this thing and uh, show you guys how to maybe catch some fish in your area. Currently, right now, we are in the south and it is 82 degrees. So we don't, we don't have a fall, it doesn't exist. But we have a cold front coming in this weekend, so I was like, why not come out here and just put the hammer down on some fish? I mean, I think the water temperature is a little cool, so these fish are gonna be really active and chasing bait. But let's come out here and let's mess them up before this cold front comes in and just ruins the fishing for the next few days. But if you guys wanna pick up the baby bull shad, there'll be a link down below in the description where you guys can go check it out. And, uh, and I think the first week of all the deals going on in Carl's, this bait was like $5. So I mean, there's a ton of deals going on on right now so if you guys want to stock up but also right here if you guys remember this clip stay fishing so yeah we have a uh, stay fishing apparel we are working on getting some t-shirts we have hats in stock and uh, we're also having hoodies we're gonna have a ton of stuff there will be a link down below in the description to loganandersonfishing.com where you guys can go and pick some of this stuff up and help support the channel and uh, to get some cool sick stuff Honestly, this hat is pretty nice. I, uh, I'm, I'm usually wearing the same exact hat every single video. So, I mean, it's gonna be nice to swap it up every now and then. But if you guys wanna pick one up, they're available now. We have a limited stock right now. And uh, if you're seeing this and you go to buy them and they're out of stock, we're gonna have some in stock soon. But I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys the baby bull shads we're throwing today. We're gonna hop on the boat and we're gonna go out and catch some fish. All right, so right here we have two baby bull shads. We have two of my favorite colors. Right here, this one's my all time favorite but I only have one of them. And as you can see, this thing has been through a lot. It's got a ton of hook rashes on it. I've caught so many fish on this color, but I do think this one is gonna work a little bit better in the pond today. But uh, right there, that's what we have. We have two of my favorite really, really shad looking baits. That's what we're gonna be throwing. Those are my favorite colors to throw in the bull shad. There's a ton of really cool ones, but these are my go-tos. So the bull shad is basically a little jointed swim bait. It's a micro swim bait. And it is just a really good bait to throw around when it's fall because these fish are really keying in on bait fish. And this is the perfect bait to throw to replicate that. And it just has a really unique action and it looks super, super realistic in the water. And it has some super, super sticky hooks. So, I mean, this is the perfect bait to be throwing right now. But with that being said, we have the boat loaded up. We have the bull shad tied up. Now it's time to catch some fish. All right, so we have our baby bull shad tied up. We got it on a little Guggen Gold go-to, and uh, we got some 17-pound fluorocarbon, which actually makes it a lot harder for these fish to see the line. So that's what I like to throw with this baby bull shad. And uh, this is just the little shad color, you know, simple but yet effective. So basically, the only way I like to throw this bait is I like to throw it up shallow in the fall, and then I like to just burn it back to the boat just as fast as I can. And what this does is it makes this bait kind of leave that giant action trail and it looks like it's a fleeing bait fish and these big fish just cannot resist. All fish follow it. It's like an injured bait fish, a swimming away bait fish and the fish just demolish this thing. You also can get some really cool bites doing this. Just throw it out there and just start burning this thing. It's slow sinking, but I never let this thing sink. I keep it right on the surface all the way back to the boat. And, uh, you know, I'll pause it every now and then, but mainly I'm just straight retrieve because the fish will catch up with this thing. So this is a really good bait in the fall to draw out some of these fish, especially whenever they're up shallow chasing bait, because that's what they do in the fall. They kind of group up, school up, and uh, all the bait fish likes to hide and stuff like this. So then you just throw this in here, burn it really fast. And uh, those fish will come after this thing and just destroy it. Oh my gosh, I almost just fell down.
Oh, I'm on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the way to do it right there. You just burn it. These fish absolutely crush this bull shad. Get up here, buddy. Oh, he just spit it right at the boat. Ooh. Dang, he almost took my head off right there. All right, well, that's a good sign. We got bit. I looked away and got absolutely smacked. That wasn't a bad fish either. I mean, he came out of absolutely nowhere and hit this thing too. So, I mean, these fish just can't resist this bait. If it's going by real fast, it's like a fling bait fish, they will come and crush this thing, especially whenever you're reeling it super fast on the surface. They'll just come out of nowhere and hit this thing. Some really cool bites, and they're super aggressive towards this thing. Well, there we go. I mean, we got him to the boat. Uh, should we count it? Probably not because he didn't touch the boat, but we'll count it as a bite for sure. Let's see. What is this water temperature like? Yeah, it's cold. They should be moving. It's not hot. I mean, it's hot out here where I am. Like, the air and the sun is hot, but, I mean, the water's still pretty cool, so. I guess the water is technically fall, but, I mean, it still feels like summer with the uh, sun being out and it being 80-something the uh, bad thing about living in the south you get uh hot days cold nights and then the fishing is just all kinds of whack all right we're gonna follow the wind and uh see if maybe that's got the bait fish pushed up and the fish moving oh that was sick that was sick that kind of scared me i'm not even gonna lie oh that was so cool get up here buddy I'm good. I'm good. That kind of scared me, but I'm good. There we go. Nothing crazy. First fish of the day that we landed. Second bite of the day. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. All right. We're in the right spot. We found the fish. Let's keep casting. We just got to find the fish. That's the, that's the big thing with this, this bait. And the good thing about this bait is, I mean, you can cover a ton of water whenever i fish like the river or like the lake or you know you have a front trolling motor just cruise the bank make some cast burn it back and just keep going if you're getting bit you're getting bit if you're not keep moving but yeah this is a deadly little bait it's a nice little swim bait to throw on just like a regular little setup you know this is like a seven foot two rod i think seven foot rod anything like that i mean this bait is just gonna it's not like a big one where you have to have a certain amount i mean you can throw it on pretty much any setup and you know, a little uh, high gear ratio. This one's not really high gear, but you know, it's all good. I crank it pretty fast, so we make do, but yep, this bait is, it's its deadly, especially this time of the year whenever these fish are really keen in on some bait fish. Just burn this thing and they cannot resist. Kind of a side that has more structure and a little bit more shallow areas. See if some of these fish are just pushed up. All right, we're gonna give her a few casts over here on this bank line. I definitely like this spot a little bit better. It's not as deep, so I feel like there's definitely more potential. Oh, 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 I'm in school. Oh my God, it's a big fish. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's a good one, that is a good one. Oh gosh, stay down. Oh my gosh, I threw in a school of bass. Oh gosh, that's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh, he almost jumped in the boat. Why didn't I let him? Oh my gosh, that's actually way bigger than I thought it was. Okay. Um. Should I flip him? Should I not flip him? I'm gonna have to flip him. There's no doubt about it. Got him. Let's go. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Now that is what the baby bull shad is best for. Throw it right on top of a fish. Instant. As soon as it hits the water and you start burning that thing, I just stabbed myself. That really hurt. They blow up on that thing. Oh my hand. Oh, geez, that hurt. I'm good. Not really. Mm. Well, not a bad one. We'll definitely take that. Man, he blew up on that bull shad and I'm bleeding, sick. Love stabbing myself, but you know, not a bad fish at all. We'll definitely take him. There we go. That was a crazy fight. I mean, he instantly blew up on the bull shad. Let's get him back. Man, that water is pretty cold, but they seem to be pretty active. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Well, we have two fish on the board. And I also caught myself. So we're uh, doing pretty good. God, I landed on a group of fish. There's gotta be more over here, but that was crazy. The way that fish hit that thing, that was pretty insane. 
that's why I love throwing this bait. It's just, you get up on one, it's not gonna resist this thing. For this to be such a small swim bait too, it has a really good weight to it. I mean, you can sling this thing and reel it really fast. It's slow sinking, but I mean, I probably should start pausing this thing. Usually if I'm not getting like insane eats while just ripping it and burning it back to the boat, I'll usually kind of implement a few pauses in it, which can draw in a few bites. But I mean, I just like the aggressive ones. I like to just cast in there and just burn it as fast as possible. And I'll really get that full commitment of the fish to just hit this thing as hard as it can. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I didn't, even, I didn't even really feel it. It's such a tiny fish. I mean, he hit it, but he didn't really hit it that hard. Come here, little guy. There we go. Fish number three. Nothing crazy, but I mean, a fish is a fish. See you, bud. That was kind of a little satisfying little drop right there. Oh, my hands are off some already. Last thing I want to do is throw a combo in the water. That would not be good. Don't want to go swimming. Not today. That's another stick. All right, we're kind of back here in the, the sticks, I guess you could say. And uh, it's super shallow back here, but a bunch of fish come back here and chase bait. So Let's see if there's uh, anything worth catching back here. Let's see if we can get a little nibble. I mean, that is the perfect action that you want from this bait. Look at that. Look how much just, look how much it just puts off. I mean, the fish can just not resist that. Oh, oh, big one just swerved. Oh, he's after it. He's got it. Oh, that was sick. That was so cool. That's a good fish. That's a good one. That is a good one. That was insane. Nope, don't get in the tree. He's in the tree. I got him. We're good. Horse him out. Oh my gosh, that was sick. I'll spit it, buddy. Don't spit it. I'm gonna have to grab this one. He's not as flippable as that last one. I got him. Woo! That is what I am talking about. Look at that baby bull shot in there. Sheesh. Well, there we go. Look at that. A little bull shot action. Dude, that fish crushed it. That was crazy. I know that usually there's always one big fish hiding back here. There's always one big fish. Oh, I barely had him too. I mean, these hooks are sticky, but like just the area I got him in is super, super thin. Woo. What a fish, man. Not crazy. But that was a sick eat. I threw it over there. I threw it like maybe a foot away from him. He saw it, turned around on it, missed it. And then he, I could see him chasing it because it's so shallow back here. But, oh, that was so cool. Man, I love the baby bull shad. It catches fish, big and small. And you just get some really cool eats with it. Let's get him back. Oh, man, that was crazy. They're back here in just like inches of water. I mean, it's crazy how these bass can sit back here, but... See you. Ooh, I'm on. That was sick. Gosh, man, I love the baby bull shad. It is so much fun to fish. The bites are just insane. Thanks, buddy. Sure. Appreciate you. All right, so if you didn't have a boat and you were going to fish this thing around ponds, the best thing to do is to wait for around this time or early morning and cast directly on the bank right here. Oh, look at this. Hmm, how convenient. We have the baby bull shad and we have an actual shad. See you, buddy. Basically what happened is most likely a bass came up and tried to eat that shad and it shot it out of the water and it landed right there, but yeah, that shad's probably not going to make it, so he's about to get demolished. No, he's, he's good until a bass comes and eats him. But anyways, ooh. I just spooked so much stuff right there. It's okay, we're gonna get bit. Oh yeah, here it comes, here it comes. Ain't no way that fish didn't eat it. Oh, he's after it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was so cool. That's a good fish, that's a good fish. That was sick, that was so sick. Oh my gosh. Look at that, right there, full moon and a nice fish. God, that was such a cool bite. See ya, buddy. That fish is fired up. God, dude, I put him back in the water to wash him off and he was eating me, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. 
gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's a late night fest. Oh! Oh my gosh! What just happened? Bro, that bull shad is gone. It is literally gone. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Oh, we gotta get him back. I gotta get pliers. Look at the fish. Look at that. That is insane. Bro, he literally almost completely swallowed the fish. He almost had the whole entire bull shad down his throat. Oh my gosh, that was sick. All right, let's get him back. Go do your thing, buddy. <laughs> that was crazy. Literally lost for words. Like, I cannot believe that this is like happening. Like, I've never had a fish hit the bull shad that hard and like literally almost swallow the thing. That was the next level. Oh, there's a fish right there. Here we go. Oh, I'm on. There we go. Okay, bite's not dying down. Bite is not dying down. Okay, that's uh, it's a little baby. Thanks, bud. Wow, what more can you say? We fished till dark, caught some absolute giants right there as the sun was literally disappearing. And uh, that was literally crazy. We caught some really big fish and had some really aggressive eats and bites. And I mean, while we were on the boat, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we caught a nice one, but it was nothing compared to the, the last five to 10 minute bank session we just had. It was absolutely wild. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to pick up the baby bull shad, as you can see, it is an absolute player and it's a killer fall bait. So, I mean, if you guys want to pick it up, there's a link down below in the description. Also, if you want to pick up the stay fishing hats, link down below in the description as well and uh it was a solid day honestly i kind of needed a good fishing day i've been down and out the past few days i've filmed like three videos for you guys that just have done absolutely nothing i haven't been getting bites it's been rough i'm not gonna lie but uh yeah we just uh we just got our redemption right there on the full moon but uh if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one